Hi there. Welcome to this quick demo of Teleport 3.0. Traditionally, Teleport has been used as an SSH gateway to manage access based on the identity of the users rather than what private key they may have. With Teleport 3.0, we are pleased to announce that it also supports Kubernetes. So Teleport can be used as a single tool for managing access for both traditional and newer cloud-native infrastructure footprints. So let's go through a quick demo of the end user experience. To authenticate, I have to log into Teleport using the TSH login command. I also have to specify the proxy I want to use and the authentication type. For purposes of this demo, I set up GitHub, but Teleport also supports local users or enterprise identity managers like Okta or ADFS. What's nice about using GitHub as a single sign-on is that now I get two-factor authentication for my SSH and Kubernetes. Here the two-factor authentication is enforced by GitHub, but if you're using local users, Teleport will also enforce a second factor. In GitHub, you can even set up specific permissions or role-based access controls by setting up different teams in GitHub that are mapped to roles in Teleport. In this case, we just set up a team in GitHub called Office SSH that has access to a Teleport instance we have run in the office. I can now see which servers I have access to using TSHLS. And I can easily SSH into one of the servers by just using the node name in Teleport. Because Teleport also retrieved my Kubernetes permissions and configured my kubectl client, I can also start using kubectl to see which pods I have access to and use the typical Kubernetes commands. Here I'll access a container using the kubectl exec and get a shell to the running container. So this is all kind of neat from a usability perspective, but what's more important is that because everything is going through the Teleport proxy, all the activity is logged. So let's go to the Teleport web UI. We can see the same servers in the node tab that showed up in my terminal. I can also access these servers through the Teleport web UI. Now if I go to the sessions tab, you'll also see that each session was recorded and available for playback. So this is the session that I started in the web UI. But even the kubectl exec was recorded as a regular session and stored here. And then of course we can see the first session I started in my terminal. So as you can see, Teleport makes sure that you stay compliant with security best practices and regulatory requirements, even as you adopt cloud-native tooling like Kubernetes in your organization. I hope you enjoyed this quick demo. You can download the open source Teleport community on our website or reach out to request a demo of Teleport Enterprise. Have a great day.